Hello grade 4, this is your Thursday video. This video is going to be on, we're going to quickly revise the key vocabulary we did this week as well as I'm going to go through the homework with you guys. Now when we go through the homework, look at your own answers, see what mistakes you got and see if you can correct them. I also just want to let you guys know that next week on Sunday we're going to do our key vocabulary as usual and we're going to move on to part 2 of verbs. So just be prepared for that. Anyway guys, let's quickly get through the video and then you guys can enjoy your weekend. Now again, this is what the key vocabulary looked like in your book. It's pages 436 and 437. Okay, let's get straight into it. Organisms was the first word. Organisms. A living thing made up of one or more cells and able to carry on the activities of life. Look at some pictures. Plant, animal or single celled life form. So the first picture is a plant, the middle one's a bunch of animals, we humans also fall into that, and the last picture is of, it looks probably like bacteria or single celled life form. But anyway guys, you guys should have covered this in science, but let's move on. Now directly is the next word. I wanted to give you guys a different definition just in case you guys are struggling to understand the one they gave in the book. Now going from one point to another without turning or stopping. So you can leave your house and go directly to school. It means you don't stop anywhere on the way or anything like that. So you directly help the environment by cleaning up, by planting trees, etc, etc. Great, the next word was affect. Now, have an effect on, make a difference to. Now some of you guys might get confused between affect and effect. If you look at the picture on the left, to affect is a verb to impact on the lightning is impacting on the tree the effect is a noun which is the result of the lightning which now the tree is dead there's another picture helping explain effect versus effect the bear was affected by the rock so the rock hit him and he was affected by it the effect was head pounding so what happened afterwards is the effect a bit confusing, but easy to understand once you guys just practice a bit. Let's move on. Okay, traces. Another definition you guys can look at. A mark, object, or other indication of the existence or passing of something. So it may sound a bit confusing, but it's really easy, guys. There's two examples of traces. On the picture on the right, there's traces of dirt coming from the shoes. I'm sure at one point in your lives, everyone's done that in the house, and you, maybe your mom's gotten really angry. Picture on the left is showing traces of mud or dirt on the person's hand. Hands. Great. The next word is vast. Very great in size or amount vast stretches of land. Now here's a picture of vast. Look how vast that ice is. It, it's a great amount. Now the next picture is not vast. Antonym for vast is tiny. It's a tiny picture. You don't know how big the landscape is. The next word was habitats. A habitat is the home of an animal or plant. Almost every place on earth, from the hottest desert to the coldest ice pack, is a habitat for some kinds of animals and plants. Those are four pictures of different habitats and some animals that live in them. I'm sure you guys all know what habitats are though. Anyway, let's move on. The next word is variety. Now, a collection of different things. This store sells a variety of items. Now, the picture will help you understand. There is a variety of fruit there. In the book, they were talking about animals, but here's just a picture to help you guys understand. Lots of different fruit, lots of different animals. Great, species. A species is the most detailed form of classification of a living thing. For example, you might group all my blue jeans together in my closet. Now, both of these types of dogs are the same species. Look how big the one dog is and the other one, small little chihuahua, but they are the same species. Another picture, all those butterflies come from the same species. Okay, banned or prohibited. 
To forbid, especially by law or social pressure, smoking was banned. Here are some pictures to help explain. I'm sure you guys have seen this, that sign somewhere in your daily lives. There's the middle pictures of banned smoking, so you can't smoke in this area. Another picture, prohibited items. You can't take those in. Sometimes shops have them. Radiation. This one's a little bit confusing, but let's just get through it. Radiation is energy that moves from one place to another. Light, sound, heat, and x-rays are examples of radiation. Here's just a simple picture to get you guys brain thinking. You can see gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolets, visible lights, infrared, microwaves, radio, and there's the wavelength on the top. You don't really have to know it too much in detail. Just know that radiation comes from the sun. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the homework. The video I sent you guys last week didn't cover the all, all the homework from the week. It's just because I wanted to give you guys, those that hadn't completed yet, another day just to finish it. But here's what the first page of the homework looks like. Verbs homework. Let's get straight into it. Now, circle the verbs. Walk. Say. Eat. Fly. Write. Sang. Now, the reason why I put stop and stood in yellow is because it depends in the sentence that they occur in. They can act as nouns or verbs. But for this, the homework, they were verbs. But just to let you guys know, let's move on to the next part. Complete the sentences using the verbs from above. Oh, one's done already. Okay, number one, I eat an orange every day. Number two, let's stop for some tea. Three, we stood up when the teacher walked in. Ali writes poems to his friends. We walk to the shop after school. The singer sang a sad song. Now, if you look in these sentences, stood and stop are verbs because of the way they are arranged in the sentence. But it, it could be arranged in a way that makes them a noun. So just keep that in mind, guys. Okay, this can get a bit confusing, but you guys pretty self-explanatory. We're just using the easy method we learned to take a present tense word into a past tense by just adding an ed. Very simple, guys. Open, opened, ask, asked, work, worked, kick, kicked, play, played, spell, spelled, laugh, laughed, need, needed, pull, pulled, show, showed, and wait waited so very self-explanatory guys you just add an ed to the end of the word to make it into past tense these are regular verbs in case you guys are wondering weekly quiz this is the next piece of homework can you name three different organisms lion shark eagle guys there were loads and loads of different animals or plants or single celled life forms you guys could have chosen, but these are just three examples. There were loads of answers. This is just a picture of a lion, shark, and an eagle. What is another word for variety? Now there were lots of different words you could have used, but just two I thought of were diversity and array. What's another word what other what's another word for band? Sorry the guys that is not meant to be there. Forbidden. You could have said prohibited. Can you name four habitats? Ocean, forest, sand, and wetland. There were a few others you guys could have chosen from. Can you give three reasons why it's important to take care of our environment? Now, I went through these three reasons in one of the previous videos, but there were lots of different reasons you guys could have used, but just three for future generations to ensure the food we grow isn't contaminated. There is only one Earth. There is no other planet that we have found yet that is suitable for life. So if we destroy Earth, we there's no other planet to move to. What continent is Iraq on? Believe it or not, Asia. What is a verb? Give a brief explanation and an example. A verb is a kind of word, part of speech that tells about an action or, or a state. It is the main part of a sentence. Every sentence has a verb. I ran to school. Ran would be the verb. 
What is a regular verb? Now we spoke about this early on in the video. A regular verb can easily be moved in the past, present and future tense following basic rules such as adding ed to make a verb past tense. Write a verb in its past, present and future tense. Present walk, past walked, future will walk. Now this is an example of a regular verb as well. Great guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys have a great weekend and rest because on Sunday we're starting nice and fresh. We've got a lot of work to get through for the next week. Anyway guys, there will be an accompanying worksheet with this. Just try to do it for homework as soon as you can. Latest by Monday please and then we'll go through the answers next week as well. Great guys, have a great weekend again. Bye.